Okay, hello. This is a documentation team onboarding for uh, two GitHub roles. These roles are issues coordinator and issues reviewer. So you can find here in Doc's handbook. Uh, can you see this? Uh, should I zoom in or is this visible now? Um, I think you can zoom in a bit. Okay. Okay, that's good. Here we are. Yeah, good. Good. So this is a Doc's team handbook. We have get involved, team roles, and non-project roles. Uh, so we are going to talk about issues coordinating and GitHub issues reviewer. So here you can find um, what are responsibilities, how to do the work, uh, and some onboarding sessions you can watch to get familiar with documentation team and everything they do. Uh, however, this can be outdated very soon or completely wrong uh, because I just wrote this by things that I've been doing. Maybe we will find better workflows, so don't be afraid to uh, propose changes or, you know, uh, maybe propose another role, whatever. This is not set in stone. This is just something to start with. So the things are happening here, github.com, WordPress, documentation, issue tracker, and issues. This is where everything is happening. What you should be uh, familiar with is, first of all, labels. So we have different sets of labels. Uh, here we have a uh, WordPress version, then we have project-based uh, labels like advanced administration, APIs, uh, block editors. So advanced administration, let me show you. We go to documentation for developers. This is advanced administration handbook. So the label applies to that. Then we have, we saw here APIs, um, that's for common APIs handbook. So that's what we mean by project, by handbook. Um, block editor is usually referring to this, even though block editor has their own uh, GitHub repository and issues there and documentation, but sometimes people report issues uh, in our repo as well. Code reference is for this one, uh, which is shared with the core team. Uh, then we have bug, like something wrong with displaying docs uh, or uh, images not showing. So it's not really a problem. It, it's not information in docs is just something that is structurally wrong. Um, content review uh, is something that started with reviewing end user docs and removing uh, two technical information that is not for end users, uh, removing from the docs. So it started there, but it can be applied to any content review. Uh, contributor day, we uh, create issues for every contributor day with some onboarding documentation and list of tasks that we are uh, gonna work on. Uh, so this is the label for those issues. Contributor documentation uh, applies to these uh, contributor day, but also uh, applies to other uh, thing like when we have to uh, update this handbook that we have uh, or anything that is concerning uh, documentation for contributors like this we are making right now is uh, contributor documentation. That's what we apply. Uh, dev notes 
is when the WordPress release happens. So uh, dev notes should be written and uh, published. Uh, some of members of the documentation team are reviewing those. So that's uh, happening as well. Developer documentation is uh, umbrella for all of these that we have, even though we don't maintain all of these handbooks, we don't maintain WPCLI, REST API, coding standards. Uh, as I said, Block Editor has their own uh, repository, so that's kind of shared. Teams is shared with the Teams team. Code reference is a hybrid uh, handbook, so parts are maintained by the documentation team, parts are generated from the code, and WordPress Playground is the new one uh, coming from another team, so we are not maintaining that one either. But most of it is maintained by the documentation team, hence the developer documentation. Duplicate, if we get a duplicate, but it's really difficult to know with, with a lot of issues when something is duplicated, but when you know it is, just uh, mark it. Enhancement, uh, you know, suggestion for improving the existing docs or improving the whole handbook if, if there is a discussion about it. External links, we have a, a policy that we are trying to uh, complete and apply for uh, reviewing external links in documentations because we want all links to be actually beneficial for uh, end user of the documentation and not to be marketing or commercial, you know, not non-existing or pay gateway or something like that. So we want uh, to review all the external links, uh, links. Field guide goes together with dev notes. Field guide is uh, post published uh, during the WordPress release. Uh, it's a collection of all dev notes and uh, some more documentation, what's new in the uh, release. Good first issue should be a issue that is uh, easy enough or simple enough for new contributors to contribute. Uh, we had a lot of good first issues that are too complicated, have too many tasks. So right now I'm working on restructuring good first issue. It should be only one task. It should be possible to complete without anyone's help uh, within 30 minutes. So that means that uh, it should have clear directions about how to do the task and only about the task, not explaining all the handbooks and all the documentation and how team is structured because that's just overwhelming. So I'm working right now on restructuring all that uh, to have a real good first issues so people can be not scared when they try to contribute to documentation. Uh, has screenshot uh, is uh, when issue needs screenshot, but it has already. Uh, and we will see on the second page, there's a label needs screenshot. Uh, help wanted was not really successful. Um, we probably didn't define it very well. And uh, like you just put help wanted on, on every issue. We need help with every issue. So I, I'm not sure about that one, but we, we have it. Help Hub feedback. Help Hub is a end user documentation. So if you go here, here is end user. This is all end user, but I just click on uh, category. And here, for example, this is the um, 
article for end user and I'm not logged in. So I'm gonna log in just a second. So um, what we get is comments on this end user. Here are comments and um, these comments are not publicly displayed. So this is actually the feedback for uh, this article. How can it be improved if something is missing, if information is not good, if layout is broken, whatever. Any feedback with this article, anybody can post here and uh, those comments will appear here as they are in WordPress uh, install. It will never appear here. And uh, this is the feedback that uh, occasionally I'm collecting. I also need someone for that, but that's another role. Uh, so from time to time, I go through all of this. Sometimes we have spam like this one, this is spam. Uh, so we ditch that, but with the actual uh, feedback, I uh, take it and create issue for each of them. So you can see how it looks like. Um, it has uh, the URL of the article, it has the uh, username of reporter and quoted the content of the comment. Then we have high priority. Internal tasks are usually uh, used for something that we need to fix in our uh, repo, something to create some new workflow, or when we have a triage, uh, then we uh, label those issues with internal tasks invalid when it's not invalid, actually. It's not for us. Uh, medium priority meta is when something is wrong, like layout is broken. So something that we, or uh, colors are wrong or something like that that is actually built by Meta. So that's how we label that. Migration from Codex, we still have some documentation uh, at Codex that is not migrated to other places. Maybe we don't have the right place for that. Maybe it's outdated, maybe it's a lot, and we still don't know how outdated it is. So uh, some parts are waiting uh, when we are migrating that to WordPress, we label migration from Codex. Then again, uh, make mis, mis, mix dev note uh, comes with field guide and dev notes for WordPress release. Mobile app is the uh, newest one for, it, it's a end user documentation, but for mobile app. Um, needs discussion. Uh, this one is uh, uh, as well unsuccessful as uh, needs help. Uh, we have these 19 for centuries now, uh, and this is probably something we should discuss about and maybe change it somehow. Need screenshot. You saw the one has screenshots, so this one is needs screenshots. New document is when we have a completely new document that should be written, so it's not updating the exist existing documentation. This is mostly happening with um, end user documentation when there's new blog block or uh, some some new feature that doesn't have its own uh, article yet. Performance, uh, I created this one for. Uh, performance documentation that is mostly uh, now moved to uh, advanced administration, but some places are still uh, in end user documentation. Plugins is for this plugins handbook. Um, question, 
when you don't really want something to be created or maybe you want you just don't know you you want to start discussions so this is like this discussion question kind of similar uh recategorization project this was created by estella when she was uh, doing the recategorization of end user documentation. Self assigned uh, is when you use our automated workflow and you actually assign yourself to the issue. Um, that's when this is applied. Uh, I will show you all the workflows and all the automatization that we have, uh, but uh, we, we will get there. Uh, uh, then we have these status uh, labels. So we have to do, in progress, review, ready to publish, and done. Uh, and this is actually the kind of uh, most, most important for uh, someone who is going to uh, be performing the role of issue coordinator uh, and reviewer because this is what you're going to search. Then we have teams, uh, which is for, hold on, for this uh, handbook, but these are mostly uh, maintained by uh, the teams team. Uh, tracking issue was created uh, at the beginning of the repo, I'm in my mind, it, it is the issue that contains a lot of other small issues. So this is the place where you follow the progress of a bigger feature. Uh, however, it's not used everywhere like that. So I'm not really sure anymore. Uh, I, I don't really use it unless there is one big issue that contains a lot of other issues. Triage is uh, when we create uh, issue summary. Uh, tutorial review, I have no idea what is this. And this could be... Hmm. I don't know, really. Something to... Um, to find out. Uh, typo, when, when the issue is really, really small and you can fix it right away, uh, like in a couple of minutes, but you actually need access to documentation to be able to fix it. Uh, user documentation is for the whole end user documentation. So it was here. for all of that. And one fix um, when something is really not for the documentation team or it doesn't apply or it shouldn't be like when people come and, and give us a completely new structure of the documentation and say, you should do it like this, like, well, we, we are not. And workflow user story. This is something I added uh, because I'm working on uh, better workflows and trying to understand uh, each uh, role coming to the uh, repository and using like someone who is completely new and someone who is a uh, seasoned contributor, but also someone who is uh, maintaining the repo and someone who is uh, just reviewing something or working on building the workflows behind. So we need to uh, find all the workflows that work for all, which is difficult, but um, because many different user roles are using this repo uh, and we want to make it as simple as possible for all of them uh, and to enable them to just do the work, not to do manual stuff that should be done or are just time consuming. Uh, so that's what what these uh, user stories are. So these are the labels. 
that you should be familiar with. And there was supposed to be a documentation about that in our, uh, I'm sorry. There should be documentation about it in our handbook, but I didn't have time to write it. Maybe someone will after this video. Uh, so now when you know the labels and you know uh, this is uh, like these status labels are the most important because when I want to work on something, and maybe I want to work on something that, you know, uh, if I want to start working on something, I don't want to step on someone else's toes. So I want to know that these issues are not even started. They're not in progress. They're not, uh, I just want to start working. So when I open this label, these really need to be the issues that nobody is working on. Also, uh, you would need to be, it would be very helpful for you to uh, get familiar with this search, uh, with, with uh, advanced search features. So if you want to label, uh, to search label status to do, but you also want to search like 6.4, you would add label 6.4. And then you get this, but maybe you don't want to work on good first issue because you want to leave that to new people. So you say minus label first issue. And then you get, you know, that then maybe you want just high priority. And then you again add, or maybe you want. Uh, to find the label, you to find issues that are created only by you. Maybe you just want to work on your, you can find them here. And maybe you know, hold on. Uh, maybe you want from specific date, maybe you created a bunch of issues at the contributor day. And that contributor day was perhaps today or, you know, the 6th November. And you want to say created, um, and then you start with year 2023 uh, minus 11. It's year, month, and day. So today there were no created. Or maybe you updated a bunch of issues. So you want updated. Uh, and there should be a different they let me try to find some day where updates were actually made maybe here so these are open issues uh created by myself and updated on 25th uh october so use this this is very um helpful tool and you can see here advanced search syntax so you can see the documentation for all of it you can search by username by many different things i found the date and labels like filtering labels very very useful uh, so those are the labels now i want to show you the workflows so here we have github and we have issues template and workflows. First, let me show you issues template. This is something that appears when you want to create a new issue. So these are all the templates that are created here. And uh, you can, change them there or you can create new ones i created these for for good first issue so when you open good first issue for alt attributes you have everything ready all you need to do is change the label here uh, the wordpress version here add the title uh, add label for the um, WordPress version, 
and put the URL to article here. And everything is ready. So you have uh, all the documentation, how to create, uh, how to check these alt attributes. Uh, also for headings, for screenshots, for videos. So this is something to help you when you create new issues uh, and to help other people, you know, to have everything there. It's consistent. Uh, if you want to change something on this first issue, change it here. So this is how it looks like. Uh, there's a table, but it, this is the template. And if you go to edit, you will see this. Please be careful with uh, formatting this because it can become, uh, if it's not uh, formatted properly, it will not be visible there and it won't be used. Uh, but everything that is uh, showing in the issue itself is here. So you can change that. When you are done changing, but you just make space. So you can commit change, create new patch, a new pull request, and um, it will create new branch. So uh, why does it give me option let me refresh? Yes, so here you create pull request and once it's merged, I have ability to skip the review <laughs> just because it's easier. And the template is updated. It has, as you see here, uh, another space. Uh, so that's how you would uh, edit template. I suggest you go there and um, read all of these. Uh, you, you will find it's very easy to create one and very easy to edit one. Uh, what is very helpful, for example, here we have screenshots. So we already have... Um, labels that apply to this issue once it's created so you don't need to you know think about that and it's uh, the the title is almost ready uh, everything here is ready for people so it's very it's simplified for you when you create issue you just put what is different and that's it. it, it's just a couple of things. Uh, and then we have um, workflows. These workflows are automatizations. And for example, here are all actions that happen when uh, someone comments on the issue. Uh, so here we have um, issue. So when, let me just see, here's one. So what happens when you uh, type review like this, slash review in the comment, then uh, what will happen? The label status review will be applied. At the same time, if there is status in progress on the uh, issue, it will be removed here, remove label, here, add label. If there is status to do, if there is status done, it will be uh, removed. So only uh, status review will be applied. So what we need to add here, there is a new label uh, status ready for publish that needs to be added here as well. Uh, then we have when someone comments slash assign. So at this moment, 
it needs to be uh, to have a label to do and also to not be assigned to anyone else. So I need to change this. Uh, and I'm not sure yet how I will change uh, if the other person is uh, assigned, but this should definitely be removed, like this status to do. Um, th this was just a starting point test, and I think it's successful. I think we should have this because GitHub doesn't allow everyone to assign them. It allows only people who are contributing to uh, who are members of the documentation team and who are contributors to this repository. So they can assign people and they can change labels. So I think this is very helpful for, for people that they can self-assign them. And you see here, uh, this label is applied. So what happens when issue is not assigned to anyone else and it has status to do, and someone comments slash assign, what will happen? Uh, this status to do will be removed and it will be a status in progress. And uh, this issue will be assigned to the author of the comment. So this is very helpful. I want to work more on this and do uh, more workflows with that. Uh, and also we have just these two uh, keywords for now, assign and review. If found in comments, uh, things will happen. Then um, add to project, this is also very helpful. So when you create issue from uh, this repository and you apply, uh, for example, 6.4 label, it will automatically be added to 6.4 uh, project. Now, if you go the other way around, if you create issue in the project, it will not have these uh, labels. So this is why it's better to uh, create issues from here. Now, some of you don't care about this because this is important only for people who are uh, working on WordPress release, who are in the squad and they are populating these projects, but we have other projects as well. Uh, so we have uh, our handbook project where we apply contributor documentation label. So when this label is applied, there is a project where this issue will be added automatically. Uh, also, we have uh, issues added to advanced administration once you add advanced administration label. Then for general end user documentation, when help hub feedback, you saw that one from when I create from comments uh, issues and uh, user documentation is applied, then these issues go to general end user documentation. It doesn't matter which version. Uh, then we have add to 6.1, 6.3 and 6.4. So you can also add uh, here, uh, you know, more uh, automatizations for this. What is important? This needs to have, uh, unique name. So you see, uh, it doesn't matter, it will not uh, ha appear anywhere. Actually, it will in, in actions, but it doesn't really matter how you call it. It, it. it should be something that you understand and it has to be unique. Then you give the name to this job uh, and you just copy paste all of this. And then you change here, you check which label it needs. It needs label 6.4. Uh, so you check, you, you don't run all these tasks to all issues, only if 6.4 label is found. Then you need URL to the project. And this is URL to, so it's not 
like hidden anywhere. It's the actual URL to the project. Here it is. So you just take that one uh, without these views. So when you click on different tab, you get the views. You need just a URL to the uh, uh, project. And I, uh, okay. Uh, this one copy paste. This is the uh, token that I added to the repository and it's just copy paste. And then, here, uh, again, you have to say this label. Now, when you have multiple labels, like here, no, it's here. Help Hub Feedback and User Documentation. If I want both of these labels to be applied as a condition to be added to the project, then I say label operator and. But if you, I want either of these, then I would say or, and that's it. Um, now we are taking more time than I uh, expected, but never mind. Uh, label when assigned. So here, when you assign someone, automatically status in progress will be added and status to do will be removed. I had other uh, workflows here, but um, it was just messing up. I need to think through the logic here. Um, label when closed. So when issue is closed, all the other status uh, labels will be removed and status to do will be applied. Uh, status done will be applied. Um, label when labeled. This is interesting. Uh, right. So when we have uh, APIs or code reference or plugins or themes. So any uh, re any uh, label from the developer documentation project, then we will have apply developer documentation uh, label. So because people usually forget to add that one, but then we don't have the right number of all of that. Uh, when new issue is created, this is what we do. We create comment that says, heads up uh, WordPress docs issues coordinators that are you folks. Uh, you will be pinged when new issue is created so that you can check the issue and label them properly. So this is already in work, but nobody is getting notifications or some of you might be getting. Uh, and this is a notifying team based on issue labels. So when block editor is uh, labeled, FAMI gets notification. When it has screenshots, it's FAMI and Akira. Uh, user documentation, again, both of them. When plugins, uh, then uh, there is Mike because Mike is a rep for uh, Plugins handbook and Femi and Akira are reps for end user documentation. Then we have Teams and reps for Teams documentation. So you see the the logic here. When things uh, are labeled, we ping the people who are in charge for this. Advanced administration Javier, status review docs reviewers. Again, you folks will get notified when status review is applied. So those are workflows. Again, I suggest you go there, read. Uh, it's uh, fairly simple. If you're a developer, it's fairly simple to create new workflows. Uh, you just have to know the syntax and there is documentation about that at GitHub. It's really detailed, it's up to date, it's good documentation. Uh, so you can learn stuff and how to automate things. If you have any ideas how to improve things, that's how uh, um, that's where you can do that. So now when you are familiar with the repository, how it works, what's there, what's the work for uh, issue coordinator? Well, you know, things are happening here. People add more issues, people add comments, but nobody knows that. 
Uh, nobody goes there unless they are pinged. And sometimes even when I'm pinged, I get a lot of pings. I don't have time to go there. So what you can do here, you can find, you know, sort by um, recently update, perhaps. And do this once a week. So uh, go through, or you can set the dates here and, you know, go through issues from last week. Go and see, open each of them, see uh, if it's in it has right labels maybe it's it says it's in progress but person commented like i'm done ready for review you know and they don't know there is a, a workflow there so you have to change the label basically you want to make sure every issue is properly labeled and in proper uh, column in project, if you have permission, now I don't know how that works uh, from here because permissions at GitHub are rather complicated and it gets even more complicated when you uh, involve projects. But if this is, if this says review and here it says to do, then this should be changed, you know. Uh, basically, GitHub issues a uh, coordinator makes sure that all the issues are properly labeled and uh, in state where the actual status is. So when I go through them like this, I don't think, I don't open this like to do and it's actually ready for review or something else. I When I want to work on this or on any issue, if I say status, if I search for status to do, I want them all to be status to do because it's very, I saw it on many contributor days. It's frustrating for people. They're like, oh, good first issue. And they open and it's miles of, of uh, uh, tasks or status to do. And then, you know, uh, uh, a lot of things already done. And this is wrong. Like, we have self-assigned and status to do. So my workflow failed and <laughs> that should be changed. So we found another bug. Uh, for issue reviewer, what you wanna find is uh, go to labels and find the Review, label, and so preferably they are all labeled properly. So these are really ready for review. Uh, we can change the label to make it like ready for review or something like that. If in review is not uh, clear uh, or is confusing maybe, I don't know. And then, so, it, some issues need two reviews. So you can be, if you don't know about this, like, okay, may, maybe you don't know about this topic, uh, but you want to review just to make sure like everything is here, it has screenshots. What was the task? There should be a list of tasks. And you check that all the tasks are done. So there are screenshots. This is the content change. There are no typos. Uh, this is the, also, this is wrong. Uh, all the titles should be in a sentence case. So you should be familiar with, um, where is it? With style guide as well. A uh, good thing is we have highlights so you can go fast through things that should be um, applied. Uh, basically, we have the most uh, errors with uh, titles. Titles should be sentence case, not title case. Uh, so when you see something like that, uh, 
you know, you can comment, like, can you please uh, do this task as well? Or just comment like, uh, hey, this is ready for uh, publishing. Our first review is done and then you label it uh, properly when there is uh, ready for publish or, you know, still in a review, we can add another uh, label for first review, second review, something like that. Uh, so th those are the tasks. Let's uh, just to move things forward and to make sure that no uh, issues are stale. You can also search here and uh, sort them by uh, the least comment, uh, the least recently updated. So these are updated like the the further ago and you can go and go through them and see what's happening there, what should be done, how to move things forward. So that's basically it. Uh, do you have any questions? So do we need to have some additional access of the GitHub repository? Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. Um, I I can add you, like, collaborators and teams. Let me just see. Um, So I can add you here, or I can add you to a documentation team. Uh, there's also docs reviewers team that I created. Uh, there, there was a time when I couldn't add people uh, here. It had to be approved, but I, uh, there is now a place where I can add people. Uh, by myself, so we don't have to ping anyone else. And I can add you to the documentation team or docs reviewer or both, uh, or here, like, uh, I, I don't know exactly what is the difference, um, but if I add you to the team, then it's easier. So you just have to ping the team. You don't have to ping a, a specific person. Uh, and you will have access to uh, actually change labels and you know move things forward and and assign people if they don't know how to assign themselves uh, or the label doesn't allow them uh, so you you will get that and you will have uh, you know all the access that you need for that okay is there anything unclear or uh, I mean I know there's a lot uh, <laughs> a lot of lot of points will come when we start when yeah. I will start working on it. Yeah, there, there's a lot, uh, and I even didn't know how much is there. I thought we will have enough for you know thirty minutes, but this is something that was built over a couple of years. So yeah. uh, there, and when you don't know all those things, it seems complicated. But uh, now we have this recorded; it will be uploaded to. Uh, WordPress.tv and uh, it will be available. So I think once you get the hang of it, it's just a, a matter of habit of coming once a week, spending a couple of hours, you know, going through the issues. And, and uh, if more people do that, then it's less time and we have updated issues and uh, over time it will be less work but maintain consistently. Yeah. Okay, well, if there are no questions, then we can wrap this up. I will upload this when once it's converted and uh, feel free to watch it again. And if you have any questions uh, or anything, maybe you don't want to do this after this session. <laughs> 
maybe you thought it was something different. Maybe it's too much. I don't know. Uh, so uh, the next steps is you think about this and let me know if you're still interested. And uh, if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, please uh, send them to me in, in Slack or, you know, in Doc's channel, wherever you find them, find me wherever it's easier for you. Um, just add them and we can uh, continue from there. If you're not interested in this, no hard feelings, <laughs> you know, it, 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 this is something that I, I've been doing and, you know, other people partly have been doing from time to time. Uh, but we don't really have a person who is dedicated to this. And it would be very helpful for everyone if we had a few people dedicated to this. And it, it will move things faster. So that's yeah. it. Take your time. Think about it. And, you know, just let me know. If you're not interested, just let me know. I'm not interested in that. that yeah, that's I, I'm, ready for the, I'm ready for the issue coordinator. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Uh, well, we will then talk. Um... Uh, I I feel it's a bit, I have to watch it uh, two or three times because I have no idea about pro okay. the programming site. Yeah, so that's... I'll go it and let you know. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, and yeah, we will move things forward from here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.